Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel today. My name is Sheen and I'm currently living in Northern Ireland and I'm a barber and I'm, I have an amazing team and I have amazing clients and I'm loving it. At the moment, because we are closed because of the pandemic and we are not allowed to do any haircuts or anything else and we highly respect that for everybody's health and safety and so that's why I'm doing like these videos and trying to share with you guys a few of my tips and I hope these tips will help you on your journey. In this video, I have two clippers, one Wahal foil shaver and one Wahal detailer. So I'm going to show you guys how to change the head of them, how to replace the head of them, and how to clean them, and how to oil them, and how to keep them maintained, and make sure they are working for us more soon. Let's get in the video. Yes, so I have two clippers in here, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more so we can see better. Right, I'm going to start with this uh, Wahal detailers first and as you can see we have two screws in here and then we just want to open them nice and smoothly you don't want to lose the screws I'm just gonna close in here like slightly I hope you guys can see better so I don't want to drop the screws and I don't want to uh, while I am opening the last screen here I'm gonna hold my finger in here like this so I don't drop the blade And then we are opening this this comes like this as you can see my clippers are always nice and clean because I like to keep them maintained and clean because always if I keep them clean they do work for me mostly. so when you open this we usually have a hairs in here and we usually have a hairs in here and we usually have a hairs in this place so if we have a hair in here we just give them a nice quick blow dry and nice and clean them without smooth and wash I love working with this brush. And this is the replacement head in here. So this comes in two parts and, and this goes in here. So whenever you are changing the replacement head, this is the part you change. And then when you are getting new replacement heads, you just put it up, put it up like this. And then make sure you hold it like that. And then make sure you put it back in here, nice and smooth and nice and gently. Yeah. Yeah. Once you see two, two holes in here, nice and matching together, you're ready to put your screws in. Before we screw them very very tightly, we just want to go back and check our blade. And if you're happy with the blade, you can go back and screw them nice and tight. Not too tight. And then once you're happy with your blade again, try them. And before we start to use them again, we have to remember one another small detail, a very important detail, and give them oil. I have two types of oil in here. This is the blade clipper oil, and this is the spray, like antibacterial spray, and just keep your clippers nice and clean. What I like to do usually, I like to start my blades, so whenever I am sp uh, spray oiling them, whenever I am spray oiling them, so the blades gets all the oil inside and then after you do that you can just keep quick polish nice and polish them and then give nice again side by blade you don't want to put too much oil because sometimes if you put too much oil that costs pull in the hair as well but if you put if you don't put any oil at all as well it will pull hair as well so you just want to get the balance now once you're happy with your clippers once you're happy with your tool you just get nice and quick polish again all the oil is round and that's 
Go. Yeah. And you can test like this as well, so it doesn't, whenever you are touching it, before you put on the customers, I will recommend you test on your hand or on your, on your, on your, on your own skin, because it will be safe and so after going to cut in the customers, uh, you know, skin or something, you know, you don't want to damage your clients. So this is the first clipper. So we have in here Babyless Pearl foil shaper. They are really nice and fast. So they come also with a full head as well. And then what you do, there is a click in here. So you take that press and click. It will come up like this. So there is this one. Usually, like if you want to change this, you can change this as well. If you are really, if you've been using it a very long time, but this is the main blades. You can change them. So if you are, if you have a hair loss of hair in there, you can again use the blow dry and then give them nice and polish. And if you are going to change the blades, you just hold this like this, just nice and gently. And then with the new blades, you know, and the new blades, whenever you are changing the new blades, they usually come like this. And whenever you are changing them, you can just put them back in here. Just make sure you double check it in so they don't flip out. And then whenever you are changing them again, now whenever you are putting them back again like this and that, there they go. And again, if you want, you can just put spray oil in there like antibacterial on this spray. I love this on this cold hair. Right. All right, everyone. So that's how I keep my tools maintained, and that's how I change my blades, and that's how I clean my clippers because they do work more smoothly for me whenever I am keeping them more uh, nice and clean. And also, you know, I can't wait to back to work and take more haircut videos and hot towel shave videos, beard trim videos and share with you guys. And I hope you will pick up more tips on the way on there as well and on my videos. And today, if you are really thinking, you know, this, this tips was helpful for you, please don't forget to hit subscribe button and like button and we all need a sport and I just want to thank you so much for everyone being watching for this video and I want to wish you and I want to wish the world back to normal as soon as possible and stay safe and stay tuned and stay positive. Take care guys. See you on the next video. Thank you.